Hello, I'm Darm again. Today's topic is the first in a short series looking at how narcissistic people gain and maintain control over other people. Now, this could be in their personal relationships, in families, in groups, even in the workplace. In this video, I'm going to outline a manipulation tactic known as problematizing. This usually involves making everything an issue just to cause chaos, confusion, to grind other people down, and to divide and conquer. Now it is important to remember that people with very deeply ingrained narcissistic traits tend to have this need for dominance and control. Depending on the individual, where they are in that narcissistic spectrum, sometimes all you have is a toddler who goes into tantrums when they don't get what they want. Sometimes they'll behave as helpless victims, whine about how unfair everything is, no one has it as bad as they do, they're so vulnerable and fragile. Sometimes they'll just act any way they want, but they will claim that it's for the greater good, and anyone who objects is just evil personified. But it is important to remember that sometimes it's not just narcissism that's going on, there are other things co-occurring as well. Sometimes you could be dealing with someone on the dark tetrad. The dark tetrad has four aspects to it. First of all, there is narcissism, which is characterized by an inflated sense of superiority and a huge sense of entitlement. They can be very disagreeable and highly resistant to anything they consider to be criticism. There is also a lack of empathy for other people. And secondly, there's psychopathy, which is characterized by being callous and having a disregard for the well-being and safety of others. They can also be quite parasitical. Thirdly, there's Machiavellianism, which is being manipulative and duplicitous. They scheme and lie any way they want, believing the end justifies the means. It's them and their agenda that is important. And lastly, there is sadism, which is characterized by taking pleasure out of the pain and the misery of others, inflicting it for either pleasure or just to control and dominate, sometimes both. So when these characteristics are combined, well, you think of someone who is callous, entitled, sneaky and cruel, with an insatiable need for control and domination over other people. And one of the ways they do this is to seek out or create issues, difficulties, just to cause chaos and disharmony, to sow seeds of doubt and uncertainty. They can create problems to which only they have the solution. Anyone who stands in their way or objects, well, they're part of the problem and they must be dealt with accordingly. So how do they go about problematizing? Well, firstly, they might consistently point out flaws, inconsistencies in other people's stories. For instance, if someone doesn't repeat an account of something exactly word for word, well, they might respond with something like, that's not what you said a moment ago, or that's not what you said last week. They could bring up something someone did or said even a decade ago just to highlight their errors and their flaws, just to discredit them, just so that they don't have to be taken seriously today. And this can leave people feeling like they have to apologize for or explain something that isn't relevant to the current situation. They have to prove that they're not lying or in error somehow. And the more they do this, the more they try to explain themselves, the more flustered they can become and the further away they get from the current issue. Next, they can find problems or potential problems with situations, ideas or plans. By doing so, they can make others doubt their own judgments or their decisions. The aim is to make their target dependent on them for validation and guidance. They can see problems and obstacles that no one else can see and they will always know the best way of doing something. Next, they're constantly triggered, upset or distressed somehow, especially if challenged. Particularly with covert narcissism, we often see an exaggerated sense of helplessness and vulnerability. Now, they generally behave any way they like, but Behave as if they must be wrapped in cotton wool and treated delicately at all times. People can't use certain words around them, discuss certain topics or ask certain questions. This might trigger their anxiety or their trauma or whatever. And this stifles conversation, debate or being challenged in any way they don't want to be challenged. Following on from that, there is exaggerating issues. Dark personality types tend to exaggerate or amplify minor issues and make them appear more significant or alarming than they really are. Being disagreed with is hatred. Molehills become mountains. Being told no is abusive. Not being pandered to is deeply unfair, unkind and cruel. If things aren't done their way or they don't get what they want, well this is going to cause all manner of disaster for them or probably for other people. And it will be all your fault. Exaggerating issues and using emotive language can create a sense of urgency or crisis. 
and this allows them to assert control or influence over the situation and the other person or people involved. Next, there's creating sideshows. This usually involves finding other problems to distract from the issues at hand. Those other issues, of course, probably being their own toxic behaviour or poor choices. But these other issues are usually portrayed as being more important or require more urgent attention. The initial problem can't be resolved until something else is sorted out first. But it never is, and even if it is, another problem will soon take its place. There can also be blame shifting, a form of distraction that shifts fault and responsibility onto other people. But by constantly highlighting problems or flaws, they can deflect attention away from their own shortcomings or misdeeds, making it easier for them to avoid accountability. It also keeps others in a state of strain and frustration. And continuously highlighting problems can erode the confidence and self-esteem of their targets. This makes the manipulated person more susceptible to their influence, because they don't want to be the one who hurts and distresses someone who is already hurt and distressed. They don't want to be the one who stands in the way of someone who's trying to save the world. And quite often they end up seeking reassurance and validation from the very person who's abusing them. Next, problematizing can also be used to isolate their targets from potential sources of support. Now this often involves gossip, character assassination, vilifying those outside of their sphere of influence. By portraying other people as unreliable or dangerous, a narcissistic person can discourage their targets from seeking advice or assistance from them. And this helps them maintain control over the relationship. Now it can of course go the other way. If there is someone they are trying to ruin, they will vilify them in order to discourage others from listening to them or supporting them. But either way, it involves creating a false narrative around someone or some people in order to discourage access or contact. It's a form of gaslighting where the narcissistic person systematically undermines their target's perception of reality, consistently portraying their targets, situations, other people, even information as being problematic, dangerous, flawed or evil. They can cause their target to question their own judgement, sanity, sometimes even their own memory. And they make it difficult for them to trust themselves, never mind other people. And lastly, there is doing or saying things to deliberately provoke some kind of reaction, but then focusing on the reaction as the issue, not what caused it. And this works in many different ways, one of which being the victim is now vilified and they are the innocent party. Now in the long term, their targets might fear having any kind of negative reaction to being mistreated, showing any kind of anger or frustration out of fear of being labelled as the abuser or even just showing any kind of distress out of fear of being labelled as crazy. They are denied their own feelings, their own experiences. Now overall, problematizing can be a subtle yet a powerful manipulation tactic used by dark personality types to gain and maintain control over others. It undermines confidence and advances their own agendas, always at the expense of others. And it isn't always impulsive and poorly thought out, almost childlike, Sometimes it can take quite a bit of planning and scheming. They know exactly what they're doing and how to do it. So that's a brief outline of how narcissistic people problematize things in order to control and maintain control over others. Now as always, if there's anything I've missed, please use the comments section. There are some interesting conversations start from these videos. Next time, I'm going to be looking at the manipulation of language in order to control the narrative and control conversations. And I'm not just talking about word salad. But in the meantime, if you find this to be interesting, please consider subscribing. And until next time, thanks for watching.